Colorado City State Park. I've been here hundreds of times. I don't know how many, but okay, maybe not hundreds, but continue for half a mile. A whole lot. Wow, did I say it was hot? <laughs> it is hot. It's 95 degrees. I am in West Texas. So, <laughs> it's not humid humid here though. So that's a good thing, but. Oh, how I f have forgotten. I don't know how to get how flat, how dead the grass is. Flat, no trees. I have forgotten. <laughs> Been away from it for so long and came back and I'm gonna go down here to the supposed to have a fishing barge. And the last time I was here it wasn't open because there wasn't very much water. But the lake has since filled up. I think it's down a little bit than uh, when I saw it when it was full. I know that's not making any sense. I think I saw it when it was full, but this fishing pier wasn't open yet because it had been closed for so long it needed some work, so. Ooh, it is hot. Sammy, you watch for snakes. Nope. It's chained off for a reason. Oh, I was hoping to go fishing down there. <sighs> oh well, come on, Sammy. We're gonna have to find another place to go fishing. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful morning here in West Texas. Yes, I'm in West Texas. It has been hot here yesterday. It was 98 degrees, I think, but no humidity so that was awesome so this morning i am going to do a cooking video but first um if you watch my previous video you know that i stopped at my off-grid uh, cabin and why do i do that periodically <laughs> well because i still have things there i have lots of junk there lots of stuff there but i also have um, things that I, I drop off, I drop off books. If I still have some that I haven't read, change out some books or whatever. Yes, I read books on Kindle too, but I have lots of books that I'm trying to read and whittle them down and get rid of them. And I get rid of them on the road um, periodically at free libraries and stuff like that. But another reason why I go there is because I have food there. <laughs> yeah, I have dehydrated food. So with everything that's going on in the world today, um, I was not concerned because over the years I have prepared. And in preparing, that means I have um, set myself up Mm, as not being anxious about being able to find products. Uh, you know, you do know that I couldn't find yeast. I remedied that, so. But um, I just want to show you a few things. One thing that I did pick up while I was there is my Coleman propane stove. My little one burner stove has given me some problems the last time, few times I've used it. Um, it's going on five or six years, so, and you know, I'm kind of hard on stuff. It sits out in the rain and, <laughs> you know, I live, I live outdoors, so most of the time. Um, I'm glad that was a stick, Sammy, and not a snake. <laughs> but anyway. So, I also picked up these little pots and pans. I'm going to use these for a few days if I don't like them. Uh, I don't think I've ever really used these. I've had them, and I'm going to use them for the next couple of days. If I don't like them, guess what? They're going to go be given away, or um, 
I'll just get rid of them. Actually, I think I have used this one, but I don't think I like them, but I can't really remember. So I'm going to use these today. I'm going to cook some refried beans and on my little skillet, I'm going to cook a scrambled egg and have a bean cheese and egg burrito. So that's what I'm going to cook today. So I want to go back and finish discussing what I started to talk about before I got interrupted with the Coleman stove. But anyway, um, years and years and years ago, <laughs> I kind of went down that prepper path and I purchased a lot of dehydrated foods for long-term food storage. So that is why I did not panic during this time. I knew that I had food. I knew that I had way to filter water. And so it was only a few hours away from me. So I knew that in the long run, I would be fine. So with that said, I kind of want to just go over a few things I picked up um, at the off-grid cabin and show you, I'm going to start using some of my food storage because you know, I kind of looked at the dates, and some of these things are good for 20, 25 years, and some uh, are good for seven years or something like that. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you a few things that I, uh, that I picked up. Number one, this, I didn't pick it up. This is what I carry. Um, these are refried beans that I found on Amazon. And, you know, instead of buying cans, dehydrated is a lot, uh, a lot lighter. So anytime you can buy dehydrated, instead of buying cans, it is uh, a lot less weight you're carrying around in your rig. But what I loved about these beans, it's ingredients, pinto beans, nothing else. So I put all the seasonings um, that I want in this. These are getting harder to get on Amazon. And I remembered that I had refried beans. And so I decided to pick up what I had. Let me show you this. So this is dated 2010. Uh, and I picked this up. I went to an... LDS cannery probably back in 2010 and had several I picked up some pre-packaged boxes and then they had things on their shelves that they had canned for sale and one of them was refried beans so I'm gonna transfer this into a paper bag a, a, a sack a baggie and um, get rid of this can today it says servings 29 wow that's a lot of servings but the ingredients in this is let me get my glasses beans and salt so this one does have salt but um it says storage life five plus years well as you can see this can is 10 years old i've had this for 10 years we're going to open that up and see what it looks like this is another number 10 can that I opened up and put in a baggie, and this is dried apricots. I love to eat their fruit, um, and this was not canned by the LDS, but this was, I don't remember where I bought it, but um, I love strawberries. I love the fruit. I like to just open the bag and munch on the, uh, the dried fruit. Really good, but you can put this in oatmeal. You can put it in smoothies. You can do, you know anything this is another uh, packet that I had so this is dated 2010 also June 14th 2010 and this is a soup this is one out of one of those buckets that you buy um, it's got like 20 25 mils or I don't know I can't remember how many mils it had in it but this is corn chowder dry soup mix. I'm going to probably use, not make it all at once, but 
better than a can. It's lighter than cans. And Mountain House. I had a lot of these. I've eaten several. And I decided I was going to bring three of them with me because these are out of date by 2018. So this one's two, two years. But, you know, it's Best Buy. So it's dehydrated. <laughs> and rice and chicken, chicken teriyaki and rice and beef stew. So I'm going to be eating some of these. I'm going to open this up now and then I'm gonna fix breakfast. Look and see what they look like. Ooh, oh yum. Doesn't look much different does it? <laughs> nope, not at all. Cool. That's a lot of lots of refried beans. I'm gonna put those in a baggie. lot of refried beans. <laughs> okay, I got the refried beans on. Egg, cheese, bean, and pico de gallo burrito. Let's eat. <laughs> 